Okay guys, just so you know, this is my first time riding Jazz outside of the arena, so I went to get my mom just in case anything happened. Right here, he is tossing his head and trying to run back to the barn because um, he's Buddy Sour. But all I did was kind of slow him down, and when that didn't work, I just kind of let him run back, and then I will start leading him away. Right here, I was trying to get him to back up so we could. I could try to get him away from the other horses. I wasn't nervous at all because I've been riding horses long enough that I know how to sit a buck and when he's bolting it doesn't scare me because I know he's not trying to get me off his back. He's just wanting to be by the barn and he doesn't know any better because he's just started his training. For him, it has become a bad habit for tossing his head when he doesn't want to do something. So right here, when I get him to back up or turn or him to listen to me, I basically praise him and keep him trying to do that. And when he goes back to the barn, uh, I just kind of start over again until I can get him far enough away from the barn and to the point he's listening to me enough that he stops darting back. I find it the best way when training him is you just have to have patience. You keep calm. If he starts running or tossing his head, you can't get nervous or jump off. You just got to stay there and tell him what to do. And when he does it, you just praise him. And that's the best way to train horses. So right here, I got him to walk away from the barn more than I could the other time, so I was really proud of him. Even though he went back to the barn and tossed his head, I was proud of him for listening and keep going a little further every time because it's not going to, this isn't going to be fixed in a day. It's going to take months to fix this, and I'm just going to keep working with him. I know it's hard to be a good boy, but you gotta be a good boy, okay? 
You gotta be a good boy. No. Yes, I talk to my horses and I find nothing wrong with it. I feel like it's better because you can talk to them and you can build a bond with them. So that's why you hear me talking a lot. Good boy, good boy, see? Oh, good boy, Jazz. Good boy, that's my good boy. Right here, I was rubbing him and petting him because I was super proud of him for going away from the barn. Even though he was still trying to dart back and toss his head, I was really proud of him because he took the next step into his training. And right here, he wasn't stopping because I'm pretty sure he was trying to get to the pasture even though there's a fence in between it. But he listened and he turned. Right here, he was about to trot and then I told him to slow down and he did. So I'm just really proud of him. So right here, I keep trying to get him away from the barn and he kept kind of trotting, running back to the barn. So I keep taking him away because I want to end on a good note and ending on a good note means I'm not going to stop riding him when he gets to the barn. I'm going to make sure he's fully listening where I can stop him and turn him and then I'm going, I'm going to get off of him and make sure it's all ending on a good note so he doesn't learn any bad habits and so it leaves it better for the next time we ride. Jazz is actually a green broke horse that my sister got a while back and then she didn't have any time to train him so I'm just kind of training him and yeah right here he's kind of going where he wants because I'm working on stopping and him not bolting back to the barn so you can say whatever you want but it's his first time riding outside of the barn so I'm not I'm gonna slowly work up to everything and soon he's gonna be a perfect riding horse and he's gonna be amazing. So when I try to get him to stop, I just kind of slowly try to get him to stop because if you yank on the halter or do anything, he'll start bucking because he has never really been worked with worked with i mean he's been ridden but he's never been really sat down and worked with on certain things so i'm just kind of doing everything slowly and i'm being patient and i'm just kind of waiting for him to stop So right here, he kind of got the idea that he's supposed to stop when I do this. Um, he's already got to uh, backing up, but sometimes stopping is a little hard for him. Very good. Good boy. I am proud of you. I am proud of you, Jack. 
Okay, if you can stop, we'll get off. If you can stop, we'll get off. Okay. Ready. Ready, this is easy. If you stop right here, I'll get off of you. Easy. Easy. Go. Go get. So right here, he's just kind of trotting, cantering back to the barn, but he doesn't actually want to throw me or actually hurt me in any way. He's just, you know, learning because he's not a horse that's going to on purpose hurt any of his riders. So he got the basic idea of stopping and he started listening to me so I decided to end it on a really good note and I'm just going to bring him back and groom him and take all the tack off and make sure he's not sweating when I put him back. Yes, I forgot to turn that camera off, so it's been running the whole time. So I might have all of that on camera, who knows. I want to thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more videos like this and tell me how you think Jazz did. I am super proud of him and I'm just so proud of him and happy with how he did and I can't wait for future videos of training him and I hope you all enjoyed this too.